some pens, pe pencils, and you need some cute little erasers. I got them from Daiso. Well, I got a sushi one because, well, I like sushi and I probably eat too much of it. Yeah, I can single, yeah, I pretty much single-handedly consume all the fish in the entire world. Yeah, honestly, I consume so much sushi. I'm surprised the government hasn't tracked down my house and banned me from getting fish. The salmon species ever go extinct? Yeah. Let's just say you know nothing. But you can pretty much just get any design you want. Next, all you need to do is flip your eraser to the side, or you can put it the hole in the middle. It's up to you, but I prefer mine at the side. So all you have to do is flip it to the side and start cutting a hole through the eraser. If your pen is like a cylindrical then start cutting a circle hole use anything to just get the hole like in the eraser like i used uh, knife scissors pens pencils a nail cutter even yeah just make sh just whatever you do just make sure there's a hole to fit your pen inside just stab the poor eraser away stab it stab it stab it okay i sound like a serial killer Twist, 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 twist the blade, twist, twist the blade. What am I even saying? Oh gosh, excuse me, I leave. <laughs> Honestly, it took me so long just to cut that hole into the eraser. If five-year-old me was here, right now, she would probably be laughing at, she would probably be laughing at me and calling me weak. Honestly, five-year-old me would probably be embarrassed to see how I turned out. Ugh. Oh well. Sorry, mom and dad. secure the sushi in place all you need to do is just heat up your hot glue gun and put some hot glue into the hole and just squeeze your pen into it for me I decided to take off parts of the pen so that I could just push the ends of the pen in then later I'll just close the pen back in and just secure it in place Just to ensure that the sushi doesn't like suddenly fall off. I know when you go to a Japanese restaurant, you want your sushi to be so fresh that it basically just flies onto your plate. Yeah, but that's not the case here. Please don't do that. Okay, after you're done with that, I just repeated the same steps on my tamago. Is that what what's this called? I don't know. I honestly, I'm a I'm a disgrace to being Asian. For me, because I wanted to step this into my triangle-ish pen, so I decided to cut out a triangle instead of a circle. Nah, you get the gif.
So after you finish cutting out the hole, all you need to do is just repeat the same steps, place some glue into your eraser and just stick your pencils or pen, st just stab it into it. For me, because I was just too lazy, so I left out the glue. But if you want to be su super secure, you really need to put the glue in, if not it will just come off and smack someone in the eye. To make the sushi in the middle, all you need to do is just cut out the circle in the middle of the sushi and just stab your pen into it. For me, somehow when I bought this packaging, it already has a hole in the middle. Gosh, that sounds so wrong in so many ways. Yeah, I already had a hole in the middle of the sushi, so all I did is just stab my pen inside it. Oh, please remember to add glue. If not, it will just fly off and hit someone in the face. I mean, you want to attract attention with the pens or pencils, but knocking someone in the face is not exactly the best way to do it. So if you managed to make this to the end of the video, please give it a thumbs up or click the subscribe button down below. I post new videos every week, so check them out.